Yo, what is up, Rare Candy? It's your boy Zach Massage here, and we are back with another deck profile video. If you're missing any of the cards for this deck on PTCGO, consider going to ptcgostore.com using code RAREcandy to save 5% off your purchase of codes. For our members who join on patreon.com slash rarecandytcg, we do have a special discount code available there too. So look into this deck, it's Chinchino Control. For those of you who don't know what a control deck is, it has usually it revolves around a Pokemon that allows you to draw cards or items, trainers, supporters, whatever that allow you to draw cards. And then you have a bunch of control like cards. So controlling your opponent's energies by using energy denial cards or controlling how many cards they have in their deck sometimes these decks such as this deck do not have a win condition like other decks this one is a deck out win condition so you're actively trying to use cards like Bellaba and bryson man and mccargo gx is burning magma gx to discard your opponent's resources along the way there's some other cards too such as faba that will take away your opponent's tools, special energies, or stadiums. And you could also deny your opponent drawing prize cards with the least poke at all. Altogether, these cards work together to stop what your opponent's trying to do. So we got, starting with Ditto Prism Star, we have its ability, Almighty Evolution. This card is mainly to evolve. It's a kind of like a fifth Minchino. Um, it does have the benefit of being able to evolve into a Macargo GX. So if you aren't able to get a Macargo GX into your discard pile to use with Mewtwo and Mew GX, you can evolve <clears throat> Ditto into a Macargo GX. Then next up we got Minchino. There is another Minchino that we received from this set, the one with Tail Wap. Tail Wap does have 60 HP. We are mainly choosing this Pokemon because it has 70 HP. Looking at the top card of your opponent's deck isn't really going to do too much. Tail Slap's not going to do too much. It's mainly looking for HP versus Retreat. And in this case, the other one just has more, uh, has less HP. This one has more. We're choosing this one. This Chinchino, it's also available as a non-promo. Uh, this one right here. Both have the same exact card, just different art. Make Do. So you pitch a card from your hands. And the main effect of this card is to discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. So you have to discard a card from your hand. Then you draw two cards. This is very similar to Zorak GX. A lot of people are going to call Make Do Trade. A lot of players are kind of excited about this one. I'm very excited about it. Never been a huge fan of Zorak GX. Zorak GX also had um, solid attacks. Energy Assist is probably something you're not going to be using very much in this specific deck. You're more so going to be using Chinchino in this deck and in other decks to use Make Do to discard a card and draw cards. In this case, it's kind of the consistency engine to draw into things like Lieutenant Surge to then use Bellaba a few times. This is also only worth one prize card, where Zorak was worth two prize cards. So very different overall. This it, It's really just going to help you try to draw cards. Resource management. This is kind of what makes control decks work. You, do, you can get your resources back. We already have some ways to get resources back in this deck, such as Ordinary Rod, and pal pad and cynthia and caitlin as well but resource management sees no color it sees no difference you could put any three cards back this is what makes the combo disgustingly consistent because you could go uh let's just paint a hypothetical turn here so your opponent's at five prize cards you're at six prize cards so technically you're behind in the game you're now able to use lieutenant surge so use lieutenant surge make do then you draw into a Bellaba. Then you play a Bellaba, discard the top three cards. You use Make Do. You draw into a Tag Call. You search for another Bellaba. And then you use Bellaba again. Now you could play Pal Pad, put those cards back, use Make Do on another Chinchino, and then put back things such as Pal Pads, Tag Calls, so you can actively search out the cards that you want and draw back into them very quickly to consistently discard six cards off the top of your opponent's deck. Resource management also will prevent you from decking out. It's just a really solid combo. This card is mainly here for Burning Magma GX. I don't see any reason why you'd want to discard the top card of your deck, unless you already knew what the top card of your deck was. Now, there are some situations where you are able to do things like this with resource management because you can 
um, track the cards in your deck in a certain order and know where they are. But in the main case, you're not evolving this from Ditto. You're mainly using this with Mewtwo, Mew GX in combination with Bellaba and Bryson Man times two to discard the top 11 cards of your opponent's deck when they're least expecting it. Zacian V is not going to be used for Brave Blade at all. It's more for Intrepid Sword. This is kind of like a half tropical beach in the standard format. Mew is to prevent things such as Pika Roms, Tag Bolt GX, or other sniping attacks that there are, such as Naganadel GX's attack so that they you could just your pokemon are safe on the bench they have the custom catcher or pokemon catcher up your pokemon mewtwo mew gx you can use any of the attacks of your gx pokemon or ex pokemon on your bench or in your discard pile that means you can use my cargo gx's burning magma there is nothing else maybe there's some other cool cards that could be added into this deck to make more use of perfection but this is really just a game ending technique i added mimikyu more so for the mirror matchup think that this uh, impersonation discarding an extra Bellaba each turn could be huge. Um, and you could place damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon if it's necessary. Um, but this deck has no way to even attack with mischievous hands. So you could include a psychic energy or something like that. But really, this is used for impersonation. It's really to gain a leg up in mirror. I figure discarding cards is better than playing something like a giraffe rig. Um, I could be completely wrong on this card. So just kind of uh tinker around with it if it's not working this is just my take on the deck right now and it's something that could grow throughout the sword and shield format as we see more event results wobbuffet is mainly to stop your opponent from attacking with victini prism star there are other things that you could stop such as tapu coco prism just realize that shady tail is works only when wobbuffet is on the bench crushing hammer uh flip a coin we're discarding your opponent's pokemon or your opponent's energy this is a this is just a pretty standard card um evolution incense we could search out uh chinchino micargo gx great ball this is just a great shotgun approach to grab cards where it's like you don't know specifically what kind of cards you want to grab but you are going to be grabbing a card in general lily's poke it all deny your opponent uh knockouts while you are uh using bellaba you could just chill there use bellaba do some other things lily's poke it all and not your opponent just can't take prize cards if they don't have a way to get around it they don't have a get, way to get around it ordinary rod sometimes they're going to knock out some important resources or you might not have a resource management in play and you discard it with a bellaba ordinary rod allows you to get it back pal pad uh shuffling supporters back is amazing there's a lot of supporters it's a supporter based deck so Palpad really helps out there. Pokecom, you can uh, reveal a Pokemon from your hand, put it back. This is just an extra copy kind of of the Evolution Incense, just a little bit different. Quick Ball, searching for our basic Pokemon. We can search out for a Zacian really early to start the party going, or to get the party going, basically. Tag Call, we can search for a Mewtwo Mew, but mainly we can search for Cynthia Caitlin and or Bellaba. Bellaba, we've already went over. Er, you can always discard three cards from your hand. Uh, if you do, each player discards Pokemon until they have three left. So if you have the wrong Pokemon like Zacian, and it's not working anymore, you could always get rid of it. Cynthia, Caitlin, you can get things back. Faba, take, just send something really important away. Lieutenant Surge, you can use a lot of your supporters at once. Air Balloon, giving Pokemon free retreat. I think everything in this deck actually has two retreat, if I'm not mistaken, except for Macargo GX. But like I said, you're not really going to get out Macargo GX. Then we have Recycle Energy to get back after our opponent uses, uh, after they knock out one of our Pokemon. And then there's Fire Energies to use Burning Magma. So overall, it's just a rinse and repeat of discarding cards from your opponent and uh, deck, their resources in play, and then getting back our resources, resource management while using Chinchino as a draw engine. So... Let's jump into the, some games, see exactly how this deck works out. Okay, Theoticus, what's up? If you're watching this video, feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know exactly what's going on on your side. Would I like to go first? Yes. So with the Zacian thing, that totally works out nice. Okay, looks like we got some stuff to start with. I'm gonna start with Guru because Guru seems a little bit more important. We're gonna go Mancino down. Uh, probably could have waited until our opponent flipped up to see exactly what's going on with their side, but whatever. We'll see exactly how that goes. 
What's our opponent playing? It looks like it's Greens Baby Blounds, which looks like they have a 0% chance of winning this game. I know I need to watch out for Reset Stamp, Marnie, Bella Buzz, because that's what makes this matchup very confusing. Would you like to draw a card? Of course. Sounds great. Okay, so we're going to go Quick Ball, discard a Bellabon, Bryson Man, and we are going to search out a Zacian. Looking through our deck, we want to make sure that we know what's in our deck. So Mew is not necessary. We have a Rangaroo. I'm just going to go through things that are mandatory in this matchup. We got Chinchino, Crushing Hammers, Might Matter, Blue's Pokedolls, Bellabuzz, Lieutenant Surge. Looks like we got decently everything. Recycle Energy's Prize, which might be annoying, but... That's fine. Let's do that. Let's go for Intrepid Sword. Draw some busted cards. Uh, not insane here, but that's cool. Fiery Flint. Okay, looks like our opponent might go for a crazy right off the hop welder. We'll see how this works. They only have a finite amount of welders available in their deck and energy. So. Key Factory, yes, please, let's draw some cards. We want to look for signs of what our opponent might play. This, they're playing, it looks like a greens deck from what I saw off their mulligan. So there's a chance that they run things like greens or uh, like reset stamp. There's a possibility that they run Marnie as well. Sometimes players, even if it doesn't necessarily fit into a deck, like running new cards over older cards. I don't worry about getting set up baby Blacephalons. I have nothing else that I can do. Uh, Poke Gear, cool. Green's Exploration. Okay, cool. Let's see exactly. We're just going to try to use as much information as we can against our opponent. They're already at 37 cards, so not bad for us at all. Welder, Fire Crystal, cool. So they do have lots of fire crystal. That's one thing that we got to realize about this baby Blacephalon deck. Lucky egg doesn't matter. I'm not knocking you out. Ah! I don't even care if they get it or not. Oh, actually, it might matter because now they... Oh, they still need two energies to knock me out. Literally just didn't matter. We have a bunch of crushing hammers. I don't think I, I'm worried about crushing hammer that much because they're going to be able to get out whatever they want. Also, at the same time, I feel completely fine that I could pitch away Mewtwo and Mew and get it back later on in the game. So let's go with that strategy first. Draw some th three cards. Okay, cool, we got another Minchino out. Am I entirely worried about what our opponent can do here? Like, no. Crushing Hammer, they're still gonna get a knockout, I think. Let's just go for Intrepid Sword. Okay, there's a Chinchino, there's a Tag Call. So we're, we're set up here. Our hands vary much the same cards, but yeah, I'm probably going to sacrifice this Minchino up next turn if our opponent does get the knockout, that is, because we are still struggling here a little bit to get set up. There's that fire crystal, getting back three. Oh, dang. We need three to knock it, Zacian. Okay, well, there's some custom catchers gone. Hopefully they don't play anything like a Rangaroo. To get them back, let's see what we could do with our Guru. Don't want to put down another Zacian because that could make our opponent win the game via prize cards. So let's go Chinchino. But before we go crazy with anything, let's go make do to try to draw into something. Before I put Lily's Poke it all down, I want to go for Lieutenant Surge's strategy. I want to go Cynthia Caitlin. I want to get back a supporter card. I'm not entirely worried about uh, Tag Call right now. 
but I'm also not worried about Crushing Hammer, so I'm going to get rid of Crushing Hammer to get back the Lieutenant Surge. There's a Mew that we could... Oh, actually, you want to know what? We have access to the Heat Factory, so let's go for that as well. Let's see what Great Ball brings us. Perfect. Let's go for another Chinchino. Let's go Quick Ball, discarding a Lieutenant Surge, because we have three in our hand, and that's a lot. Let's go for another Minchino. And then let's go for Make Do, discarding. Let's discard a Tag Call. It might be nice to get Belba and Bryson Man out. Okay, so there's a Lily's Poke Doll. There's another Lily's Poke Doll. Let's just use these Crushing Hammers at this point. Tails. Tails. Heads. Woohoo! Let's go! Um, hopefully just sh stopping our opponent a little bit here. And this... At this point in the game, we still have access to another uh, stadium or a supporter, sorry, from Lieutenant Surge. Let's just start milling the resources. Let's discard the top three cards of our opponent's deck. And let's pass our turn. So let's see what we have in here. We have six energies and three fire crystals. That's a lot of resources which our opponents have used to knock out a Zacian um, that they also brought back up with custom catchers. I'd really like to hit a custom catcher from our opponent's deck. I know that some players have uh, written about uh, or even tried using Alolan Muck to take the top six cards and look at things like that to grab more custom catchers. But realistically, I think we're doing okay here with our opponent running out of uh, things like Fire Crystal. Now, there's a Lily's Poke Doll. I just want to chill on Lily's Poke Doll for a second. There's an Evolution Incense. We're going to search out the Chinchino. And let's not make any mistakes. Let's not put ourselves in a deck out position. But at the same time, we'll see what's up. So let's go make do, discard a Bellaba. Wait, I meant Mew. That's totally me looking at the wrong card and then just saying the wrong card. Let's go make do. We really shouldn't have discarded Bellaba. Don't follow that advice. Don't discard your Bellabas. Um, I'm fine with the quick ball. To be honest, let's go for, do I want to go fourth one out? Like, I mean, I'm not opposed to that. At that point, I don't really care about quick ball. So let's get that out there. And then I just want to go big chill, Lieutenant Surge. Let's go for Cynthia Caitlin. Let's do that. Let's discard a Lieutenant Surge, because I know I can get back a Lieutenant Surge. I don't really want to use Heat Factory. Um, let's go Bellaba here. Okay. Realistically, I'm just going to use Oranger next turn. So yeah, let's actually let's use a pal pad here. Get back Bellaba Bellaba. So those are shuffled throughout the deck. Don't want to use Heat Factory because I don't have recycle energy and I don't want to run out of energy here. Even though I had uh, ordinary rod, I just want to chill here. Our opponent could easily run out of resources, and they've gone they've run out of two welders. Like, they're down to three prize cards, but I think we're probably okay for a bit. I don't know what our opponent's searching for in particular. I just want to get them down to 11 cards left. Because I can get them to Bellaba, Bellaba, my cargo GX. And our opponent so far is whittling their deck down for us. So I feel like we should be able to win this game in like the next one or two turns. 
energy retrieval custom catcher they're gonna try to draw another prize card on a chinchino that's their last way to get through it oh they have uh two ways to draw prize cards actually since they have uh Blacephalon GX, they can go first. Just discard a prize card. So if they go custom catcher, bring up a Chinchino. Which I think they'll bring up a Chinchino. Yep, get a knockout on that. We just have to be careful at this point. I either win the game in two turns or I just chill for half a second. I think I'm gonna chill for half a second. So let's go for, this can go down. Let's go make do, discard a Wob. Cause that's a card that, uh, we probably need Wob in this matchup. More and more that I'm thinking about it. Should probably have realized that. Um, I don't know entirely what the last card in the deck is. I'm not really worried. I think it's a Bellaba. Do I want to? Ex yeah, let's go make do. Discard that. Draw the Bellaba. Let's go, Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Card the top three cards from each player's deck. Oh, who <laughs> who needs uh, Wobbuffet when you're just so good at this game that you just rip your opponent's Victini to shreds? And then, realistically, at this turn, my opponent can't do anything if I just properly play this game. So we have the Mewtwo Micargo. So let's go air balloon guru actually i'm gonna wait another turn because actually i think i just have it naturally without it we have zero cards left in our deck though so let's go ordinary rod let's do both so there's a mewtwo that we can get back so that we can use Macargo GX. Let's grab back a Guru because that's probably good. Sure. Could have grabbed another one for Heat Factory. That would have been nice too. I should have thought of that. But realistically, I feel pretty good here. Let's just go Pow Pad. We already have a Bellaba in our hand, so let's grab a Bellaba back and let's grab a Lieutenant Surge's strategy. So we have access to all three. We have five cards left in our deck. As long as our opponent doesn't discard anything or do anything crazy like that, we literally win the game next turn and we have every single available opportunity to do so. So let's go Thick Done. So our opponent now at 10 cards left in their deck. If they just go retreat and go for burst GX, I think that's what their best play is right now. That brings them the closest to winning the game. I don't think they have an answer to whatever we have going on here. So they're gonna go burst GX. So just to double count here, we have Bellaba, we have Lieutenant Surge, Bellaba one, Bellaba 2, so that's going to put them at 4 cards. And then we have Macargo GX, which is chilling in our discard pile. Discard the top 5 cards of your opponent's deck. Cool. So let's go for um, Make Do, which we're not going to use this Lily's Poke at all at all to draw 2 cards. There's a Mewtwo. There's that. We're going to use Make Do again to discard a Quick Ball because there's 2 cards left in our deck. We are going to go Lieutenant Surge, Bellaba Bryson Man, discard the top three cards of each player's deck. 
Discard the top three cards of each player deck. We are now going to go for Palpad, giving ourselves Bellaba, Bellaba back into our deck, just so that we're avoiding any kind of deck out. We could have even grabbed more with Heat Factory. Let's go Lily's Poke it all, put this at the bottom of the deck so we know our top deck next turn is going to be Bellaba. Send up. I know that Chinchino has free retreat with Air Balloon. I'm just terribly worried that I'm going to screw something up. Let's go. Mewtwo, Fire, Lily's Pokedol, put that at the bottom of our deck again. So we could have retreated with Chinchino, but let's go for Burning Magma GX. And our opponent is now at zero cards in the deck. They're going to draw for their turn, can't draw for their turn, we win the game. Good game, good game, Theodicus was Gucci. Okay, so playing against Brainwash93. Hopefully I don't get brainwashed during this game. Sup, if you see this video, feel free to leave a comment below. If I played against you, let me know exactly what your side of the game was looking like. Um, do I want to go first with this deck? I do play Zacy and I do have Pokemon I want to evolve. So yeah, yeah, I totally want to go first. Let's see what we can go going on here. So looks like it might be better to start with something like Ditto because I could always use Recycle Energy to retreat it in something else. So yeah, let's go Ditto. Um, since I'm going first, there's no point in me putting Zacian B down on the bench. And I hope our opponent's playing something that we could actually beat. Don't know exactly what they'd be playing. So Chaotic Swell, Psychic, Aurora Energy. Looks like this deck might actually be Mewtwo Psychic. So we'll see exactly how this turns out. Um, yes, love to draw a new card or another card. And again, just gonna chill on that Zacian. Okay, so this is a matchup that I don't think they're gonna be playing too many Prism Stars in. I'm not entirely worried about that. Let's go Quick Ball on the Wobbuffet. So that's the first card gone. And I just wanna get out a Minchino. We probably need to get out a Mew in this matchup, but I can wait a couple turns. I just need to start drawing cards. So let's go tag call let's grab out some cards let's grab out a cynthia caitlin and let's grab out a mewtwo mew of our own i'm gonna, just gonna discard that because we can always get it back whenever we want <clears throat> with this deck we can get back anything with resource management so we have that and we can't play supporters on our first turn so that's cool basically like i'm not i'm not even sad here i think this is a pretty great start for the deck We'll see what we get off uh, Zacian, but let's go there, retreat, send up, get back our energy. We're going to leave the Lily Poke at all in the active, so our, even if our opponent can take a prize card, this Pokemon is just going to be taking a beating while we get set up. And let's use Intrepid Sword, draw three cards. Didn't really get much off of the Intrepid Sword, to be honest, but it is something that we have Cynthia Caitlin for next turn. We'll see exactly what our opponent does here. Their goal of their deck, if it is the Mewtwo Malamar deck, it's... So, okay, so that's going to stop a GX attack. I think they're playing Mewtwo Malamar. I can't tell. They, they want to be powering up their Psychic Pokemon in general and then <clears throat> using an assortment of attacks, usually using cards like Marnie with Mewtwo Mew to copy Trevenant Dust Noir's attack. So they put my hand to four and then they're going to choose two cards at random out of my hand. So nothing crazy going on there. Let's go Cynthia Caitlin, and let's yeah there's nothing that we want to entirely get here so let's get uh let's discard a cynthia caitlin because that's probably fine wow let's go tag call grab some more cards out of our deck so we're doing okay um i don't really care about the crushing hammer because our opponent has malamar this is a matchup where it doesn't really matter that much let's go and put down a Zacy. let's put down an orang mm. let's just use Zacian. let's go for intrepid sword still no chinchinos in sight i probably should be looking through the deck when i'm going through um <laughs> it, i didn't see if we had all four chinchinos prize i know that we had bellabas and that's the point that i that i'm really happy about and we have a Ranguru. so it's just like 
the resource that I was checking for are probably the wrong resources. But maybe I should have audibly checked a little bit more for uh, the, the, the Chinchinos. Because so far, after looking through a lot of cards in our deck, we've looked through 31 cards in our deck and haven't seen it. Uh, <laughs> yikes. Okay, so it looks like it's the Mew Team Alamar deck. And they're just going to use the Trevnor and get set up and try to ruin our hands. I'm okay if we can't use Macargo's GX attack. Oh, Fion. Are they going to take a prize card here? Hmm. Yep, there's the Marnie technique that I was talking about. So, we'll see if the Fion was in the next five cards of the deck. Or the Fion, not the Fion, the Chinchino. Woo, we got Chinchino out. But I think they're probably going to uh, use Fion, maybe, as a way to move the Lily's Poke at all to the bench. Something I gotta pay attention to. What are they angry about? What's there to be angry about? Did they attach to the wrong Pokemon? Because they were trying to attack with Lily's Poke at all and just ruin our setup? That technique won't work. Okay, so we can't use Macargo GX now. We have a card. And there's another Chinchino. So, like, cool. Let's evolve a Chinchino one. And since we can't use our GX attack, goodbye, Macargo. Cool. Do we have any cool supporters in our discard pile? Eh, like, it's okay. Let's evolve another one into a Chinchino. Let's discard. Let's put down a Lily's Poke at all. Let's discard the Crushing Hammer. The Crushing Hammer doesn't matter. Let's go Great Ball. So there's Mimikyu. You can see that nothing here is insane. Our opponent's not actively discarding cards. I'd like to get a Mew out. I'd like to get rid of the Zacian with a Bella buff. But let's chill with Intrepid Sword right now. I really want to get rid of, like, if I had a perfect board state here, I'll continue to talk while it goes into our opponent's turn. I would like to have Chinchino, Chinchino, turn this Ditto into a Mew, turn this Zacian into an Oranguru, and always have Double Lily's Poke at all. So that, that might be something that I want to go for. I'm not really worried about what our opponent can do every single turn. They don't even have the Naganadel out. Actually, I'm not even worried about them sniping with Naganadel. They can take away whatever they want, really. There's a Lily's Pokedol. And there... Mm. First and foremost, let's get something out with Great Ball. So there's a Mew that I wanted. And before I play Mew down, I might want to try to get rid of the Zacian. So let's go uh, Chinchino probably should have waited on that as well let's go make do discard a card we don't need Mimikyu in this matchup what do we have in terms of our deck nothing crazy still let's go make do discard a Zacian let's go great ball try to grab out another card nothing there that would have been a nice card to discard um how many Lily's Poke Dolls are in here? One. Let's go make do and discard a Zacian, or the Lieutenant Surge, because we could always get that back. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Mm, that's not gonna happen this turn. Let's discard the top three cards of each player's deck. Let's go Recycle Energy. Let's put this at the bottom of our deck. Let's go Pal Pad. Get back Bellaba, Lieutenant Surge. And let's go for a huge resource management here. So resource management is totally going to get us some stuff. I want to get back Lily's Pokedol, Palpad. 
None of these Pokemon I'm overly worried about. Um, I'll get back at Cynthia Caitlyn, that's probably fine. So you can see our opponent has 10 cards in their discard pile, and this is where the game starts getting interesting. I think they're just going to continuously use Night Watch. And we gave them their first prize card. Willie's Pokedol. Um, I don't even think they're going to go for Mewtwo, so I'm just going to discard the Mew. If it becomes an issue, I'm going to worry about it later. Um, at this point, I'm also not worried about Fire Energy because Burning Magma just doesn't exist. And there's both a rank. We have to be very careful because I have no more Orangaroos here. Let's retreat into a Lily's Pokedol. And let's go for an Intrepid Sword to draw some cards. I want to get back some Orangaroos next turn just so that we don't discard them. What are they putting back? Recycle Energy, Balaba. Let's send out the Lily's Doll. And in this case, I'm totally fine with going for... Let's go make do, discard a Great Ball. Because that's a card that we just don't need any more resources. Let's go make do, discard a Crushing Hammer, because I don't need any more resources. Let's go Pow Pow to give myself a higher chance of getting cards that I want. Let's go... Make do, discard a Pokemon communication, see what we get. Seems like it's going to be a difficult game. Let's go Ordinary Rod, put some cards back. Uh, let's try to shuffle up to, to do both. Let's go for Guru Guru. Done, and then let's get our Fire Energy back. And then let's draw three cards with Intrepid Sword. Let's go Lily's Pokedol. And looking through the discard pile, we don't have anything. So let's go for our first step of Make Do. Make Do on a Quick Ball. Make Do on a Fire Energy. Go make do on a Lieutenant Surge. Let's go, Cynthia Caitlin. Let's get back a. Uh, let's let's grab three cards. Yeah, let's do that. I think the card that I want to take care of is an air balloon here. And then I'm just gonna grab back a. Lieutenant Surge seems like a pretty good card to grab. So we got so we got some answers here. We need to go for an Oranguru because I want to get some cards back. Let's go Pal Pad. There's a Bellaba and a Lieutenant Surge. And 
And then let's go for resource management. I know I need to get back an ordinary rod, a pal pad, and a Lily's polka doll probably seem like the best options that we have. And I probably should have attached air balloon onto Chinchino just so I had outs. But we could see that like I'm I'm not entirely in danger. I think our opponent's just gonna continuously use Night Watch at this point of the game. Just to try to preserve their resources. Which I think they could be doing a little bit more during their turn. Sure, they could take away those cards. Let's go actually with uh, Lily's doll. Send that up. And then I want to go... Hmm. I don't really want to discard all those resources. Let's go make do. We'll actually get rid of an air balloon, which it would have been nice. Like we're just running out of cards to discard here. We'll discard a Bellaba. We'll discard a crushing hammer. Grab the top three cards of each player's deck. Discard the top three cards of each player's deck. Do both. Guru Guru. Fire Fire. Pow Pad for Bellaba Bellaba. And then I'm going to draw three of those cards with Intrepid Sword. Now, hopefully our opponent doesn't do anything crazy like play their own Bellaba. That'd be insane. But... Yeah. I'm... <laughs> I was actually reading, uh... I got a post in Verbank. So I'm playing against Marty Ray. The misclick, uh... Killed... Killed you in the second turn. I totally agree with that. Let's go for setting up Lily's polka doll here. And then we're gonna go for make do to just draw. Make do draw. I don't wanna screw this up. Yes. I should have waited on that, that's a mistake. Let's go Lieutenant Surge. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to go for resource management to get back an ordinary rod, pal pad, pal pad. Probably should have put pal pad on top of the deck, but doesn't. Again, it's one of those things where we'll see exactly what our opponent does here. I'm always like, if they play reset stamp, they win the game. 
I think my opponent have I discarded the resource? Yeah, exactly. Yikes. So that's what happens when I discard too much. I screwed up on that Lily's Poke at all, but it would have been fine. Oh well. All right, everyone. That's what we got going on for this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. We showed how you can get back all your resources with resource management, draw a bunch of cards with Make Do, and ruin your opponent's deck with Bellaba, Bryson Man, and uh, with Macargo GX's Burning Magma GX. Very cool concept of a deck here. One of the best concepts we have for a control deck in the Sword and Shield format. So be sure to peep out this video if you've scrolled through it. Um, this is definitely going to be one of the best decks in the Sword and Shield format. That being said, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the Rare Candy YouTube channel. If you want to support our channel a little bit more, consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. And you could also go to rarecandytcg.com, pick up some cool merch, some swag, got some awesome stuff on there. And that being said, I am Zach Lesage. Follow me on Twitter at ZLesagePokemon. So... Have yourself a good one, and I'll catch up with you next time.